Hello everyone! This is another video from the online guide on a bot constructor and telegram menu builder bot. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, we strongly recommend to start over and watch. The link will be in the description. To find the menu builder in telegram, you can use global search. To do this, in the right upper corner, press corresponding icon and type menu builder bot. And we are starting. Menu Builder is a bot constructor and all its controls are inside the Telegram. Which means that in order to create a bot, you don't even need to leave the familiar interface of the messenger. This video is the first one of three dedicated to the constructor's main controls, menus and editors. In this video we will demonstrate how in few steps you can create a menu for your bot and how to manage it. We start with the buttons editor. Go through the process of creating buttons, their basic settings and how to use them. Press button editor. Now the bot is in buttons editor mode. In order to create a button, press add button. The bot offers us to enter the name for your new button or press cancel if you change your mind. The name of the button in the menu should be unique. You cannot create two buttons with the same name. This is due to the mechanics of bots functioning in Telegram. The name of the buttons, however, can be made visually similar by using various emoji and other tricks. Let's add our first button by typing its name. We send the button's name to the bot and that's it, the button is created. By default, each new button will be created at the top of the menu, above all other buttons. There are no buttons in our menu, so the new button will appear at the top. After creating a new button, we are still in a buttons editor and the button we have just created is active, so its name is enclosed in a square brackets. Besides that, the chat contains all the information about its settings and controls. Let's exit the editor and see how it's gonna look in a regular menu. To exit the editor, press Stop Editor. Now there is one button in the menu of our bot. Those four lower buttons, as you remember, are the admins buttons and will not be visible to the users. Let's create few more buttons and use them as an example to explain all the settings and controls available for the buttons. Let's go back to the editor. As I said, by default, each new button will be created at the top of the menu, above all the others. In our case, it means that the next button will be created directly above the existing one. Press the Add button again and enter the name. Send the name to the bot. Now we have two buttons located one above the other. The location of the buttons in the menu can be changed, but we will talk later about this. Buttons can be created not only above, but also exactly in the place where you need. To point the bot where the new button should appear, you need to select one of the already existing buttons and make it active. To do this, Press the desired button, the button becomes active and the square brackets appear around its name. Now the new button will be created under the active one. Press add button, enter the name and see that the new button appears under the active one. Now we have three buttons in our menu, however they are not located the way we like them to. Let's move button number 2 to the place where we need. The buttons in the menu can be located next to each other or each on its own level. To move the button down, select the desired button and make it active. The message with the settings and controls for this button appears in the chat. The row of arrows of inline keyboard indicates the direction of the movement. With the vertical movement, the button will change the level of its position. 
if the button is alone on the line, the moving up and down will place it on the same line with the other buttons, or send it back to the separate line. Now, button number 2 is on a separate line. So once the arrow down is pressed, it will become the second in the line with the button number 1. To move the buttons horizontally inside the line, use the left and right arrows. Let's put the button number 2 on the right side. In addition to moving the button, you can change the name. Delete or move the button to another part of the menu. Let's add the fourth button and use it as an example to show those features. Change the name of the fourth button to button number 7. To do this, press Edit on the inline keyboard and enter a new name. In order to remove the button, you need to press Delete. To confirm the deletion, press Delete again. The menu in the bot can be multi-level. It means that buttons can contain other buttons inside themselves so-called nested submenus. In order to create the submenu inside the button, you must press this button two times. The first time we make the button active, with the second we go inside of it. The further process of creating the button is similar to what we were doing earlier. Let's add a couple of test buttons and use their example for demonstration of moving buttons inside the menu. Let's move the button we've just created to another part of the menu. The button is already selected and active, so in order to transfer it, just press Move on the inline menu. This action is similar to the cut function on the desktop operation systems. The button will disappear here and will be added in the place of the menu where you specify. As you can see, as soon as you press Move, in the lower part of the menu a Paste button appears. Let's go to the part of the menu we need and paste this button there. To do this, press back, go to the button number 2, and by pressing Paste, place the button here. Let's exit the editor and check the result. Now, when entering button number 3, we see the transferred button has disappeared from here. And vice versa, it's appeared inside the button number 2. So, we have learned all about the creation of buttons and their movements around the menu. The properties and the settings of the buttons we will discuss in the next video when we talk about adding the messages. That's all for now, see the following videos. The address of Menu Builder Constructor in Telegram is already on your screen. If you like to know about updates on the channel, press subscribe. If you like to be informed about every new video, press notify.